So, hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Limitech Reviews here. In this video, I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, in silver. While I was recording this video, I actually ran out of storage. So that's why this is already unwrapped, but I haven't actually took a look of this phone. But again, iPhone 12 Pro Max, silver, 128 gigabytes. And uh, from what I'm seeing already, the box is very thin compared to older iPhones. So I'll compare it here, one with the, uh, I'll compare it with the iPhone SE box. Uh, this iPhone SE box is just much thicker than this one. So literally the 12 Pro Max box is almost uh, just half the size of what the SE box was. Uh, this is much more thinner and that's because uh, they got rid of their brick. Uh, so yeah, so now let's look and open this box up. Okay, so here it is, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, let me just carefully just take this out. Uh, wow, it is pretty big. So I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. Uh, here they got the lightning to USB type C. Uh, people aren't happy about this again because why won't Apple include the charger brick in the box? Uh, and Apple's doing this for environmental reasons, but then people also bring up the argument. Uh, most iPhone users don't have the USB type C and they would have to go out and pay for it. So, I mean, this is just an argument that I've seen amongst other people. To me personally, it doesn't really matter. I already have a charger that would work with this phone anyways, but I can see this being a problem for some people. Then I uh, got the manual and just one Apple sticker. All right, that pretty much goes for the box and everything. So I'll put this to the side. And here we do have the 12 Pro Max. And wow, this is kind of a heavier iPhone, honestly, uh, compared to some of my older iPhones. This is more uh, heavy. As you guys can see, got the triple camera lens here. Uh, looks pretty nice. And the silver, the silver back, uh, in case you are wondering how the silver looks, uh, it is uh, more white looking than silver. There are little hints of silver, but it's very white. I mean, it's whiter than, than even last year's uh, 11 Pro from what I'm seeing. But Apple has gone back to the square design, as you guys can see. Uh, and it's more grippy to the hands. I'm not sure if it's going to be as comfortable, let's say, as on uh, the rounded edges we get on older iPhones like the 11 Pro. I got an iPhone 7 here, for example. This has a rounded edge and what I've seen is from through long periods of time, that's more comfortable to hold on to than the uh, squared edges, but the squared edges give a little bit more grip and I just think it looks better. So let me just open this thing out. I uh, got the, actually the volume up, volume down, and the silence, the power there. No more plastic, but Wow, pretty interesting uh, to say the least. I will bring a review for this iPhone uh, in about a month from now, actually. I, I wanna use this through a little bit of a longer period of time. So be sure to stay tuned on that. Uh, but to be honest, it's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am pretty excited about the 12 Pro Max. Pretty big iPhone, actually the biggest one ever, 6.7 inches. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll be making more videos. I'll actually be making a video on the 12 Pro Max in blue. I'll put the link in the, com uh, in the description down below. Uh, thank you guys. Peace.